Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a little bit of a change in scenery. We are in Tampere, which is a different city two hours south of Seinöki, the hometown where I live. I have a special visitor coming into town. But before we go and pick him up, I need to quickly run to the grocery store over there somewhere, get groceries for our cottage adventure week. So let's go. Right, grocery trip success. That was not easy vlogging and doing grocery store stuff. People who are vloggers and can do this other things at the same time, they are multi-talented people. But food is ready. I kind of stole the shopping cart from the store because it was too hard to carry everything at once, but I'll bring it back, I promise. You can do it, babe. Come on, come on. 6.52, one more minute till his train arrives. All right, my special visitor should be arriving any minute now. And then we are off to the cottage for a two day getaway. And we are just gonna be shooting a whole ton and hang out, which is gonna be good times. I think he's here. I think he just arrived at the train station. I see Tiffo, he doesn't see me yet. He's giving a shot. Hey! This guy is so sneaky. Look at him. He just came out of nowhere. How are you, man? Good, my friend. So glad that you made it. Ah. Take off that mask. You can breathe again. Oh. <laughs> it's like public transportation in Finland. How, how was the uh, airport? Uh, <laughs> it was exciting. The, the Finns can be pretty stone cold sometimes. Oh, yeah, totally. Like, I think they were trying to intimidate him. I got a call all of a sudden from border control and I was like, who's this random number calling? And when I answered, I didn't really hear the introduction and I was like, who's this guy calling me? And then I hear, you have a friend visiting Peter Lindgren. I was like, oh yeah, we're working together. <laughs> they were like, he had this face all the time. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is a Finn's face. They have one reaction. <laughs> Whether we're smiling or we're laughing, it's just, although I'm a Canadian Finn, so I'm a weird breed. Hey guys, sorry I'm gonna hijack the vlog for a second, but I gotta give some context to this story. So Peter and I talked for the very first time on January 10th, 2020. I sent a message saying, hey dude, we've never met, but I just came by your channel. Cool to see another YouTube filmmaker here in Scandinavia. I'm based in Finland. I would have never thought that one simple DM message would be the beginning of a fantastic friendship. I sent that DM and from there we started just weekly messaging each other, weekly messaging turned into FaceTime calls and FaceTime calls turned into us planning to finally meet up and finally hang out. Back in March, I had an opportunity to go to Stockholm. I was supposed to teach at a workshop at Raila Camera Shop and everything was set. I had my flights booked, my train tickets to go from Stockholm then to Gothenburg after the workshop to hang out with Peter and finally meet in person. Well, we all know what happened this year. COVID-19 hit right in March, the week of when I was supposed to travel to Stockholm. And of course, everything got canceled. So of course, meeting up Peter back in March, epic fail, didn't work at all. Um, we just continued to talk. We would call each other every single week, just catch up. It almost became like Peter became my office mate. I don't know about you guys, but at least for myself as a creative, I often can feel like just working in an office by myself, doing my own thing can be quite lonely actually. There's not someone to really, you know, share thoughts or ideas or ask questions about the same kind of craft that you're working on. But with Peter, it's been just that, you know, I can ask him questions, what does he think about that? Or I can run ideas by him or just encouraging each other. And it's been really awesome. So. In September, when we found out that again, travel was gonna open up between Sweden and Finland, we thought, okay, this is our time to seize the moment. So Peter booked flights to Finland. I booked us a cottage to hang out and film and shoot here in Finland and everything was set. But again, the week of, or the week before of this trip, it looked pretty grim again. It looked like things were closing up. Traveling was not gonna happen. And we were like, man, this is so frustrating that every time we try to plan a meetup to hang out, 
that it doesn't work out. Well, we just played it by ear, waited every single day to hear about the news, and the day of Peter's travels, it looked like people from Sweden could travel to Finland if it was a work trip, and Peter's trip to Finland was a work trip. We're gonna work both as YouTube content creators, creating videos, creating content, working for some brands, and so Peter was able to get to Finland. There was a little bit of questioning at the border patrol, but he was able to make it into the country, and man, we had a fantastic time together. So that's why this trip was so special. After all this hard work to try and meet up, it finally worked out, and let's just say we had a blast. All right, go now and enjoy the rest of the vlog and stay tuned for part two. All right, time to head off to the cottage. We're gonna have some food, and it's gonna be very culinary with McDonald's. High quality, this is what you do when you come to Finland and eat with a Canadian. <laughs> and Big Mac Ateria. Uh, no Big Mac Ateria Vans. It's a mandatory pit stop to fuel up for the cottage adventures. How do you like your gourmet fine dining here in Finland? It's very culinary, <laughs> as you say. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. You can't always go to the most fancy restaurants. This was on the way, we get McDonald's and then we get to the cottage as quick as possible. Peter, what <laughs> kind of uh, rating do you give for this cottage? I would say that I give it a 6 out of 5. 6 out of 5? Uh, at first I thought he was going to say 6 out of 10 and I was like, oh man, what kind, of, what kind of standards do you have in Sweden for cottages? But when he said 6 out of 5, I was relieved. Now, I've done a lot of traveling in my lifetime and I've always thought that I'm really efficient at packing, but look at this. Peter, show them how much stuff you brought for a few day trip in Finland and then you're going to Switzerland after this, right? Yes, so, so I try to prioritize the gear. <laughs> so I have gear, 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 and then clothes. Um, how, how much clothes is that right there? Is it like one pair of boxers and a t-shirt or? <laughs> No, it's actually like six pair of boxers. Are you going for like, you know, you wear one time backwards, forwards, front, back? Yeah, that's, I, I'm gonna like, if, if it gets too sweaty on the inside, then I can just turn around. <laughs> I appreciate his commitment to travel life. That's very, very beautiful. That's like a work of art that you can bring so much camera gear and clothing all in one camera bag. <laughs> <laughs> 